I hear the truck. Gina, they're here. Good morning, modern steaders. It's a cold one this morning. It feels like fall is in the air. It's a good day to be getting delivery of the woodshed. <laughs> We're gonna be needing to burn our firewood before we know it. They ate all their grain from yesterday. Yeah, all the ones that was close near the fence. Too cold for them to wake up. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Right for the hay feeder. Good morning, Figaro. Don't trip on the apples. <laughs> Good morning, girls. I know, right? Hope got locked up with the babies last night. I don't think Willow liked that. Thank you, Willow. Yep. It's just like I smell the grain. Look, Davin, put all your hay right here. There you go. Morning, Moose. <coughs> to the house. I hear the truck. Gina, they're here. There she is. How are we doing? How are you? Good. Look damn good. Good. Mm -hmm. It's all put together this time. So I was thinking right over here is where we could put the... I can put it wherever you're going to build it. I'm going to build it right here. So if we put it right here on the left hand side of this rock wall. Yep. And then it'll be easy. Not a problem. Perfect. Going out of state, how do they get shipped? Common uh, carrier. Common carrier? Well, depends on where they're going. Yeah, like California would be put California on a common carrier. Put on a common carrier. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, they do send me. I've been to Hall, Georgia, all the way down to Hall, Georgia, and then back across to Orlando and. Oh, nice. And back up. Yep. But uh, most generally, they try to do a common carrier. Yep.
right there so it stabilizes itself and it can't tip over. It's pretty wild. That's probably good. So it's all by the fork truck part that locks it in place. Yep. That's pretty wild. It uh, it goes in, locks underneath here. Oh, yep. Right? And that's what allows me to angle it. And, and then everything is locked here. Right. That's awesome. Thank right. you. You know, um, again, you know the routine. Yep. The, everything's on the All side the instructions are on the side. Perfect. Right. Now, the other part of the sills yeah. are in the kit. Are in the kit, okay. Okay. Because the other six by sixes yeah. are in the kit. Because the twenty footers they can't put in the kit. So those are the twenty footers on yeah. top and the twelve footers are inside. And they're inside. Perfect. Right. Just so you don't think that you're short, right? My vision is to make a small sustainable homestead. So I want to have like pastures here, pastures out there that we can rotate the animals on and the barns in the center location at the bottom. So that way we can access both pastures when they're fenced in with the animals. And then we can do more gardening up over there. But it's all, like you said, it comes in phases. You can't do everything overnight, yeah. unfortunately, as much as you want to. But yeah, so we're just trying to do a little bit every year. Thank you. I ordered a 12 by 20 woodshed on the internet from jamaicacottageshops.com. I'll have a link in the description down below to their website and a promo code for 10% off your order. It expires December 31st. <laughs> We've got a new building project, guys. We have a nice dry spot to put all of our wood this winter. <sighs> it's gonna be nice. There they go, guys. Now we got like a big Lego set. Thank you. Need to cut this branch back before we can stop building. But before we can do that, uh, we got a load of goat bedding in the Kubota. We're gonna need the Kubota. So let's make a place to make a compost pile. All right.
I want to find a spot that the soil is not that great so we can make a compost pile there and then spread it out and help that one that area ah, here we go Hoping we can make this round and tie it together. A farmer's MacGyver duct tape. Hay bale string. You always have it around, so. Over here, I know there's a hole down here. So let's put it over here. I always step in that hole, so this will keep me from stepping in it too. can trim that branch back. Uh, I need to sharpen the chainsaw. I'm gonna have to trim up that maple tree where the woodshed's going. And I remember from last time we used it, but the apple tree is just pretty dull. I think it's time for a new file and a new chain. We got gas. Do we have oil? And we have oil.
think we done run out of gas. Almost. Got a few more cuts. Yep, we're out. All right. Get this mess picked up and then we'll be back. Oh, it'll be a 10 minute job. It's just one little branch, I said to myself. <laughs> oh, that's a big old pile of brush, guys. from the fox and the coyotes or whatever else is around. Now we got a little bit more firewood to add to the pile. Glad I took that branch down now though. If we didn't, that was gonna be an issue later on. Well, you don't wanna stay up there, do you? Was that fun? Yeah. Didn't that get dropped off? Mm -hmm. You wanna open, open up the kit and see what's inside? It's gonna be like putting together a big Lego set. I'm gonna do half of it. We're gonna keep both sides open for wood storage. It's like it's both gonna be like that. Yep. So do you believe there's a 12 by 20 woodshed in there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here are the other six by sixes we're gonna need. There's our ridge cap in there. It looks like a Figaro house. That's where he used to hide in the other ones. Yep. You'd see him crawling out of the tunnel. So we got our six by six posts. These are probably for the doorway. We got our four by four posts and some beams, right? Where'd I see it? There was the beams right here. 
And then we got our angle braces cut, roof rafters, strapping, tin, and then down low is all the other stuff. We got the siding, batten strips, our hardware, and every piece is labeled and stuck on there. And the directions tell us where they go. You've been down this road for far too long. He left your love behind. But Hello, modern status. Oh, they didn't stand under it when you threw it. No. They have been late. Hello, Caleb. Hello, Zeke. Oh, that's good. Good. You got your water. food? Yeah. Yeah. They get on hmm? water. Do you? They get on water. Good on water. Too fast. Good afternoon, Willow. Hello, Hope. Blossom Buttercup. Hello there, Figaro. Being friendly again. Hmm? Apparently goes the cheese is loose. No, I got it. So, yeah. Look at that, she's got a caterpillar in her mouth. She's no fool. Go get it, Hannah. Oh. Oh. Okay, I guess we didn't have to do that one. You're right, Olivia. That was one of the broody hens. How many we got so far? Eight. Eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. And look, your chicken came back. <laughs> hey, buddy. Mm. I think that was the one I just caught. Tanner, go. Oh, I'm so glad that the post and beam firewood shed showed up today. Tomorrow we're going to start getting the foundation ready to build the firewood shed on. And then we'll be able to build it and finally we'll have a place to store our firewood. I hate thinking about it guys, but winter's going to be here before we know it. The leaves are already starting to change a little bit, so if we can get our firewood under cover, I'm going to be excited. There's going to be a link in the description down below to Jamaica Cottage Shop where we bought our firewood shed and our barn kit from. There's also a promo code down there, LUMNA2019. Use that promo code, you'll get 20% off your order. It expires the 31st of this December 2019. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. we got another fun build project up ahead of us. We're trying just to build the mini farm, the sustainable homestead, whatever you want to call it, just a little bit at a time. This has been a dream of ours that we've been working on for over 10 years now. We've been here for five years. But we've been dreaming and planning and saving for this dream for over 10 years. So I know there's a lot of you guys out there doing the same thing. You'll get there one day. I know you will. Thanks for coming along on our journey list, guys. You're a true blessing to us and our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.